see, what am I? Okay. So, this is, uh, this is Cool Spot, a game I wanted to do last year as well, but didn't, didn't quite get to do that. So Cool, cool Spot is the, the mascot of 7-Up, or he was in the 90s. I don't think 7-Up has a mascot anymore. Hang on. I've, I've ruined everything. Yeah, now you guys can hear the game. <laughs> so, basically, in order to beat the stage, you have to get enough cool points to unlock the cage. And there's the part where the music just loses it. And in order to get the bonus stages, you have to get enough uh, of the seven up spots. Getting the seven up icon gives you seven spot points. So that's the end of the stage. But since we're going for the bonus round, we have to get, I believe, at least 70% cool. It's a sentence I never thought I'd say before. <laughs> we have to be at least 70% cool. Maybe it's 75. We'll find out. Yep, I know the hand's telling me to go that way, but I I write my own rules. That's what that's what it means to be the Uncola. It's about it's about being you. Be yourself. <laughs> Seven up the Uncola. Be as cool as you want. There we go. Let's just see how cool we can get. <laughs> Mr. President, we have reached peak cool. So, here's a, here's a question for you guys. What's cooler than being cool? I hope you like this music, because you're going to hear it every time I beat a stage. Got the one up. Okay, here's the best music ever composed for a video game coming up. I wasn't lying. <laughs> this is this is as serious as a bonus round can possibly get. And that's that's been open. So we got the letter. Uh, letter U. And pretty much 100 percent run where I'm going to get the rest of the letters as well. So at this point, we're just kind of at the... <laughs> at this point, we're kind of at the, the point where we have to wait for the bonus time to go out. I can't uh, expedite this process, unfortunately. Although I believe I can in the I can end the bonus stage by attaining maximum cool. I have 95, 96% cool. Spot. So the letters are actually continues. If you lose all your lives, you have to spend one. Not quite cool enough. I believe 
Start peer pressure up. So thank you so much for donating so far, everybody. Uh, it is it is much appreciated. Um, again, I'm raising money for Driscoll Children's Hospital in Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, that's a hospital that um, my younger brother was admitted to uh, when he had some complications with appendicitis. And they, no joke, this is not hyperbole, literally, they saved his life. So all the money that I raised today is going 100% to Driscoll's Children's Hospital. All the money, all that cash, all that all that hot meme cash, the all that getting all the hot memes, the fresh memes, all that money that's coming in, that mad money. Uh, I would also like to, I guess, use this time to mention that on behalf of the Gatorbox community, I have donated uh, seven dollars and thirty-two cents to the cause, and that is uh, that is money that is basically come from uh, the YouTube ads, YouTube. Uh, partnership, AdSense, all that stuff like that. So that's all the money that Gatorbox has made in the months of September and October. Up to up to today, I've donated all of it. So thank you very much for that as well. So even if you can't contribute to Gatorbox uh, during our, our live stream, just by checking us out on YouTube, you've already helped contribute to the contribute to the cause. Everybody's a winner. Everyone wins. Everyone gets a, tr a trophy. <laughs> oh, just get on the rope spot. Don't be dumb. Just, there we go. So I noticed, uh, I really hate the, the flies in this stage. They're like the worst enemy ever. Oh no, I fell. I just get out of my way. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the compliment. That's a, a special suit I bought just for the show. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably find some use for it outside of Extra Life, but I bought it to wear today. Everybody has a gimmick, and mine is that I am cosplaying as a television test pattern. Come to Gatorbox, where the host dresses up like a TV. So it's what's, what's great about this suit is that it's already attracted a lot of uh, a lot of money to come into the stream. Um, a quarter of all the donations we've received today has been specifically because I wore this. So, uh, the reason why I'm taking so long to kind of go through this stage kind of meticulously is that it's much easier to just get spots in the early levels in the game. It's just easier. It's less of a headache. And you need to reach 75% cool in order to unlock the bonus stage. So it's, like I said, it's just easier to go ahead and get those ahead of time. Can I go behind the can? No. So the stopwatch adds more time to your clock, of course. Uh, this is this is a timed game, fortunately. Uh, the good news is we're almost at maximum cool. <laughs> Sir, we've attained ludicrous cool. Oh, that was a bad jump. So these, these, these riffs in this song are just, they're, they're too, they're too juicy. They're, they're too juicy. I can't, I can't compete. <laughs> so both of those enemies dropped a 7-up that heals you. <laughs> it made a really, it sounded really interesting in my, in my headset. I didn't know what happened at first. So, coming up in a second here, there's going to be a bottomless pit. And I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get trolled into falling into it again. Here we go, bonus bonus round. That's the pit, by the way. You know what? I'm gonna get these just because 
just because I felt like being cool. <laughs> I really love this five second. Every time I hear that song, I think of trains. I don't know why. All right, bonus round. Get ready for that awesome music again. Oh. Ah. There we go. Got the letter. What time it's letter N? We're learning, we're learning our alphabets today. Cool spot, level complete, dubstep remix. God no. Got another extra life in there somewhere. Uh, so we're only 81% cool in that bonus round, but it doesn't matter because we got the letter N. Oh boy. Don't even show me the cutscene if I don't get the one up, okay? That's so here's another here's another cool composition from this game that I am fond of. Uh, Stuart Little perpetually throwing cheese as an enemy. And then there's these spiders, spooky spiders that come down from the wall as well. So, here's a, here's a flash fact about Gator Box's extra life stream. Tommy Telerico is featured prominently in it for some reason. And by prominently, I mean he's done the work in two of the games we're playing. <laughs> so, I do like that projectiles go through walls. I don't know if that's intentional. <laughs> Want that. Okay. Double mousing. So, here's a good rule of thumb. In most cases, every time you see a pipe that has a... <laughs> nah, man, it's not offensive that they use part of Hallelujah for the thing it plays when you get the letter. That just means Hallelujah, the Uncola. <laughs> Anyways, my hot tip about this stage is that if there's ever a part of the stage that makes you go behind uh, a wet rag or a, a bend in a pipe, chances are there is a note, uh, not a note, there's a spot behind it. Nine times out of ten. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Uh, Finn. Okay. <laughs> so that's a that's a glitch that happens when when you get the find cage text to appear when you're standing behind something, it doesn't appear correctly. <laughs> I said about going behind the bends and the pipes and getting some free spots. Hot tips. Behind the rag, hot tips. <laughs> oh man, I need that. I need that. Seven up, it's floating. Oh, you. Okay. That's okay. There will be more seven up. <laughs> Something I gotta, I find myself reminding myself of constantly. 
No matter how bad life gets, there will always be more 7 up. Again, always behind the pipes. They weren't very creative with where to decide to hide the coolness. Oh no. So basically, the only real incentive for getting 100% cool on a stage, since I know some of you might be wondering, is that it basically guarantees you a 1-up at the end of the stage. Um, do you know whenever he goes up on that balloon, he gets, uh, he floats up toward uh, the 1-up, and you're judged on time remaining as well as spots collected. And if you have a whole lot of time remaining, then it doesn't really matter because you're going to... You, you don't have to get 100% spots. Shit, I got hit. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. And now I can go through the rest of the stage without really worrying too much about... Uh, do you want the clock, though? Oh, that's not I want to be. And he dropped health, and I can't get it. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Don't you dare compare Cool Spot to Spider Man. That's an insult to Cool Spot. Cool Spot's cooler than Spider Man. Also, he's shooting soda at his enemies. How. Come on. That's so cool. You can't even process how cool that is. Don't even try. That cool, that's too spicy. That's too cool for you. Too cool for school. Oh, from downtown, I got the shot. Do that stupid dance. There we go. So, like, right here, I didn't get, uh... See, I got the one-up anyways. I didn't have to get 100% spots. So, um, at the beginning of this stage, you probably saw the little, uh, mines. If you hit those, I believe they deduct time from your overall time that you have left. Doesn't matter, because now that I've got the letter C, we can just goof around. So yeah, again, the only incentive for getting 100% in a bonus round is to get uh, to get a one-up at the end, but it's kind of unnecessary. So we're halfway there. Can you believe it, folks? <laughs> again, don't show me if I don't get it. I don't care. <laughs> So this is a horrible stage. This is the worst stage ever. And there's two stages in this game I can't stand. This is one of them. Um, you're gonna, we're gonna get to the other one in a second because they're pretty much back to back. If you fall in that water, you die immediately. Doesn't doesn't matter. You're dead. Also, they put an enemy you can't dodge right there, so that's always a sign of good level design. Right. <laughs> so, in this stage, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to go for, for coolness, because... Just getting through the stage without losing my vision is going to be a, a miracle in and of itself. Alright. There's a lot of really sweet jumps to make in this level. So they're trying to get me to slide down that rocket to get the 7 up for 7% coolness, and that's tempting, but I honestly, we're not doing that. <laughs> like, this jump right here. Come on, cool spot. You got it. 
So like, if I jump down here to get all these cool points, I'm effectively going to go to the end of the stage. I mean, to the beginning of the stage, I mean. There's no incentive for me to do that. None, whatsoever. That's not a good idea. Okay. <laughs> if, if, I'll get if I get through this stage without dying, I'll be impressed. That's... That's how crappy the stage is. So, once you get towards the top of the stage, you can start using the wires to kind of guess where the level... where the level is. But... I mean, because the, the little blimps are always hanging on the pieces of wire, but that's... I'm not going... No bonus round for that stage. I mean, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for other bonus rounds throughout the rest of the game, so... It's kind of like when you play Sonic the Hedgehog and you get 50 rings and you jump to the big ring at the end of the stage. We just didn't get 50 rings this time. It's okay. So this is uh, another game with a uh, meaty baseline. If uh, Rocky Wits were here, he would he would be all about this. So there's a uh, there's a monster truck up top. There's a lot of cool stuff in the backgrounds of these stages. Um, I don't mean the toys in the background, I mean stuff in the foreground, like the fire truck. It's pretty cool. Uh, artwork, why is it mean? I don't know what that toy is in the back that's on its head back there, but that thing needs to be killed with fire. So yeah, that's kind of one of the drawbacks of this stage is that they hide robots behind the behind the fire trucks and they can still hit you. So it's kind of crummy. So they can't really be they can't really be dodged. Also, somebody dropped a health power up and I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh well, that's life. Sometimes you get the health, sometimes you don't. Oh man. Ah. By the way, um, the folks in chat that are saying I'm good at this game, don't, that's not, uh, <laughs> you, you weren't there for when I tried streaming Spot Goes to Hollywood. I haven't posted the videos of that yet, but I died a, an innumerable amount of times in that. So me being, me being good is, is all just relative. So, there's a 1-up hidden back there, along with some bonus stuff. This is a game where you essentially just drench enemies in soda until they die of just diabetes. <laughs> This is a truly unique game. The first game where you uh, weaponize high fructose corn syrup. Uh, can't get up there. Gotta go. Gotta go long way, long way around. Okay. That was a good jump. So the enemy that I keep killing right there, the thing that, the bouncing green ball, if you uh, if you shoot that, it blows up into smaller green balls, and those will actually hurt you if you touch them. So you can't touch those things. Also, I'm trying to get a running start to make this jump, <laughs> and Spot seems to not be cooperating with me. Spot, please. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shot. He lied. Okay. 
So, how's everyone's weekend been? Because I'm, I'm living it up here. It's, it's slowly starting to sink in that I've got to play a ton of games. And now that we've raised, uh, oh, dang it. Now that we've raised an admittedly large amount of money for children's hospitals, I have uh, speedrun obligations <laughs> I, have to, I have to take care of. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to jump onto the fire truck from further up. It's a weird. Oh no. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to jump on the fire truck from right here. Behind these these sweet converse kicks. So yeah, they hit enemies behind that shoe. If you couldn't tell, I was taking damage in there. I don't know. I don't know why you would hide enemies where people can't see it, but. So that ball enemy, eh. Uh, not really dangerous, but kind of annoying. It's really hard to hit it. Okay, come on. Uh, we got. We gotta go. We got. We got stuff to take care of. Come on. I can see where you'd, where you'd hear that, that infliction in it. Alright, so we're about 10 cool points away from getting the bonus stage. none behind these cards, unfortunately. I think the cage is like right over here too. That's the one thing I do like about this game is that even though they hide enemies in really dumb places that are kind of cheap, they are pretty generous with uh, giving you power-ups. One more. One more. We need one more cool point. Okay. More dot. There we go. We've done it. We have achieved the bonus. Bonus has been achieved. We've got the bonus. We've done it. They said, oh man, that almost ruined my day right there. They said it could not be done. Okay, I'm taking too much damage. <laughs> Everybody just do it, come on. Play at every level, come on, you gotta get used to it. Just let it loose, loosey-goosey, it's all about staying active. Ready for that music again? <laughs> We're gonna hear it two more times after this. So if you like it, make sure to go to Tommy.Telerico. Ha, ah, got it. <laughs> kind of just jumped into the spikes like, oh, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the O. not trying to get the stopwatch there, I was just trying to get these spots. Oops.
90% cool, come on, we can do it. 91%, 2%. <laughs> you gotta lube up, gotta lube up for that, for the crunch. What I like about Spot is that he's really cool. Not quite cool enough to get that one up, though. Hey, you guys like that end of level music? Because you're really gonna like this stage. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to, you, get to, you get to hear the full cut of that song, by the way. That how how you liking that? How you liking that? <laughs> this this level is very floaty, if you can't tell. It's kind of a nightmare to play, actually. I don't enjoy it. Yep, find the find the cage. I think they're, they're giving away Red Bull. I think I don't. I brought I brought Monster. I I, I have my allegiances are, are chosen. <laughs> so if you can get to the bottom of this stage, there's uh, which is what I'm trying to do. <laughs> there is uh, a lot of sp there we go. There's a big there's a big cache of spots hanging out down here. There we go. So we need just six more spots. Be cool. You guys want to be cool? I want to be cool. Man, smoke this. All right, here we go. It's time to, it's time to, it's time to Shrek it up. Oh, by the way, when you beat the stage, it does start playing the music over again. <laughs> that stage is, is tolerable. I enjoy that just for the music. Ready for that sweet bonus music again, though. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Here it is. This is where they keep the letter. Yes! So, if you guys want to see something cool about this stage that you won't be able to unsee once I tell you about it, it's that this stage takes place inside a bottle of 7-Up. And that blew my mind when I, found, when I saw that for the first time when I was a kid. I was like, oh man, I get it now. <laughs> oh man, since we're uh, winding down the clock here, we have received a donation for um, an unknown amount of money because I've only just seen the notification for it. We'll check out that donation uh, post haste following the termination of this uh, f fantastic bonus stage in the next 19 seconds here. Come on, cool spot. So let's see, let's go check out that, that donation. Let's check out that hot donation.
Alrighty, this appears to be... Yeah, I don't know, I don't get the bonus. It's a cool bonus, I don't get it, I don't care. Alright. So thank you, FPS Reflex, for your for your donations. Much appreciated. The next game coming up after this is absolutely, totally for you. So we're at um, $110 right now. I haven't updated the the uh, figures on the stream yet, but we are $40 away from making MC Kids a 100% all cards, all trading cards run. Um, again, like I mentioned earlier, I w I won't be completing the the bonus world. Ronald McDonald's Puzzle Land. <laughs> so that's a sentence I never thought I would say before. Um, I won't be going through the bonus world. Uh, I'll just be getting all the cards. So we are $40 away from making that a reality. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you haven't seen um, MC Kids before, a lot of folks like to write it off as just saying, oh, it's crap because it's a McDonald's game. It's actually surprisingly fun to play. Um... It's one of those games where if you if you took the Big Macs out of it, it's, it's it holds up well enough on its own. I'm trying to kill that ball. Again, trying to kill that ball. Not a sentence I thought I would ever say. Oh man, good. Nice, refreshing, crisp 7-up to liven me up after being hit in the face with robots. Oh, can't get through there. Well played, game, well played. Yeah, I know, I gotta go this way. I was hoping I could be unique. Let that 7-Up rise up into me. Yes. <laughs> Drink all the 7-Up. So you, can, you can kill this thing eventually. There we go. Oh, no. ah. So I managed to, I guess, despawn that enemy. <laughs> oh, nope, there's back. <laughs> so, even though it looks like I know what I'm doing, I don't. <laughs> oh, that's a ball. I'm... I love that as soon as I'm starting to die in this game, the game is like, you know what you could use right now? A 7-Up. I, I almost want to say it's not possible to die in this game from taking too much damage, because the game will always remind you that when you're feeling blue, a nice, cold, crisp 7-Up will do the trick. Brought to you by Seven Up, the Angola. <laughs> hey, seven Up. Oh. No. Again, I've accidentally despawned the balls. Gotta get, gotta get down here. Oh no.
Come on. Oh, no. 7-Up wasn't there to save me that time. Did you see that? They let me die. 7-Up let me die. <laughs> they let, you, you let me down, the Uncola. What was that all about? What happened to getting a nice, crisp 7-Up? But, oh, hey, what's up? Oh, sure, that'd be great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I get a. Absolutely. Uh, what? I, 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 I would love to try cranberry. That'd be fantastic. Thank you very much. Cool, cool. All right, so I had. Took a break there. Um, you can still see them right there with the. the oh, now they're gone now. The uh, Red Bull backpacks. I got a. So we got a cool cranberry Red Bull. Uh, let's do a let's do a throwback to last year's Extra Life, right? I did the I did the impromptu Gator unbox right there in the and in, in the stream. Let's do the Gator unbox taste test of the Red Bull cranberry. It's not bad. It's good. If you need, if you need, some, if you need to get, put a little pep in your step for this holiday season, get some. Just get some Red Bull. Meanwhile, Seven Up, Red Bull Seven Up, and Tasty Cake Cinnamon Donuts. Welcome to Gator Box Extra Life. That is good, though. I'm not even. I'm not lying. Also, hello, Evil Sniper. So glad you could join us. Evil Sniper, also my brother. He's not the one that was... He's not the one that was in the hospital, though. That is FPS Reflex. So, e Evil Sniper, though, he's... Cool, cool kid. Plays a little too much Minecraft. <laughs> okay. Good news is, we're... We're ready to go to the bonus stage, so let's get out of here. <laughs> and I, I... Something killed me. <laughs> Oops. Let's just, let's just take my, my cool self. <laughs> Throwing seven up all over the place. How would you like a seven up? So I'm going through this, this game as fast as I can. I'm probably going to be running a little bit late on Super off Road, but that's coming up in just a second here. The good news is... I am cool enough to get that one up, as we're about to see. <laughs> Meanwhile... Oh, oh, no! So, the bonus... you probably paid attention by now. The bonus stages get a little more intricate as you go through the game. There's more bubbles to jump on, there's more kind of dead ends, like traps, I guess you could say. I guess for lack of a better term, wrong turns. So, it <laughs> looks like that's where we gotta go. Alright, you ready for this? That's not even where they, that's not even where they put the letter that time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the letter is under, the, under this. Yes, so we've got the letter A. And I, I'm pretty sure. I think by my count, that's the last. That's the last letter. I think the word uncola ends with an A. <laughs> Get that seven up, seven percent cool. Okay, so you can kill yourself in the bonus stage and still get the letter. So that's it. That's everything. So now we're at the point in the game where I can just go through. I don't have to collect as many spots. I can just go through the stages and collect the dots. La 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 la. Also, I hate this stage. 
because first of all, the background is terrifying, and the background n never ends. Also, this is the second time today that I'm going to use the term, the ride never ends. <laughs> All aboard the Virgin Train! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got Stinky Pete the Prospector. After, af you know what? After a hard day's work in the coal mine getting black lung, you know what I like? A nice cold soda. I'm just glad that this level doesn't, uh, this level doesn't speed up, like, the background doesn't speed up and slow down with the music, otherwise I'd probably kill myself. I've never, I've never not associated trains with that. What are you talking about? <laughs> also, I wish I knew what I was jumping on right now. So, remember when I said I hated that stage with the, the swimming pool underneath it because I had to jump around onto all the UFOs? I hate this stage for the same reason, but this stage is unique in that the background is making my eyes hurt. <laughs> There's so much, there's so much noise in this stage, it's, everything about this stage just, is just, it just hurts. Uh, no, I'm trying to jump, okay, there we go. Okay, that 7-up is not worth it, sorry. <laughs> I really don't like the stage. <laughs> okay, so we've we've achieved 30% cool. We're not incredibly cool, but cool enough. This is <laughs> so. Uh, Jay Harms has pointed out um, <laughs> in the past. Uh, Rocky Wits and I streamed the Holiday Express, which we've actually just put that video up on, on YouTube. So, Jay, <laughs> Jay Harms is like, is this Revenge of the Train? No! Damn it! Oh, the, I hate this! Oh, man! Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm just... I'm gonna power walk. I'm very angry. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna power walk. I legit don't have time for this. I'm out. <laughs> so I can start up here. I'm just... I'm not... I'm not going to... I'm not even going to try to recover from that. I'm just going to jump off this train and end it all. Alright. Please, where's the cage? Ah. So, um... I, <laughs> it's alright, you didn't mess me up. Revenge of the Train is funny. It's legit funny. I have like a million lives, who cares? It's just cool spot. Oh, man. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. We're doing this. America. 
Yes, yes. <laughs> so, regarding that stage, let me whip out my, my best angry video game nerd impression. Wow, didn't they playtest this game? I mean, wow, what the chicken fart? What a bunch of diarrhea dookie doots. Yeah. Took an excessive amount of damage from Stuart Little there. Again, not something I thought I'd ever say, but... Oh, one's dropping. Seven up for me. No one's gonna drop that delicious high fructose corn syrup, lemon lime, crisp, refreshing drink with all the preservatives laid inside of it. I mean, 100% natural preservatives, 100% natural high fructose corn syrup. It came from the, it came from the, came from the the earth. It's natural. <laughs> well, the background in this stage in, is moving in the sense that it's set up as a as a parallax, so that it it moves at a speed slower than the foreground. But it's not actively cycling. But I don't I don't blame you for feeling like the the train stage has permanently destroyed your vision. Because that's how I feel when I play it. For this for this level though, you just gotta enjoy those meaty riffs. And that, that crisp, refreshing taste of 7-Up that I picked up again. Ow. Alright, there we go. Excuse me, Stuart Little. So even though I'm at the point now where I can kind of run through the stage, it's, I still might go out of my way to kind of pick up some of these dots. Because in levels, in this type of level, they tell you where to go. Even though sometimes it's self-explanatory. But if, excuse me, if there's like a fork in the road, I might pop to, oh, give me that 7-Up, man, that's delicious. You know, a uh, little known fact about 7-Up, um, <laughs> Cool Spot's not wearing Kanye shades. He's not wearing Shutter shades. in regular shades. Uh, those riffs are like a meatball sub, but with the refreshment of a 7-Up to make them cool. That's right, man. They're ex oh. They're okay, something disappeared. Where, where's the... I keep hearing 7-Up appear. I'm getting... This, I'm starting to get a, like a Pavlovian response to the 7-Up now. I'm expecting... I'm expecting to do a, a good deed and then I get a treat. Oh, there it is. So, anyways, what I was trying to say earlier, why did they put the, the checkpoint right there? How, how could you have possibly have died? Um, oh, I forgot to... So what I was trying to say, that level, little known fact about 7-Up, it's a nice, uh, home-style fact. It's a cure for spider bites. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't have to do that? Alright. This level is called Dock and Roll, and it's a repeat of Fear Pressure, the second stage from the game, and I've already, <laughs> already died. So if you if you ever uh, here's another home remedy for you. I have not seen Gurren Lagann, by the way, but I've I've been told I need to see all these different shows that I've never seen. So if you're ever at like a pier and you step on a barnacle and you slice your foot open, you know what'll fix that? Seven up. 
put it, to put some seven up on it. Put seven up, just dump it in the, just dump some seven up in a bucket, and just put your foot in that, dummy. Come on, for your health. <laughs> oh man, I got, I got no scoped by a clam. So remember when I said I hated the, the little flies in this game? It's really on this level <laughs> that they kind of make themselves known. See? Alright. At least whenever you die, you get to keep your cool points. Gotta get out of here. Oh, no, I'm not going the right way. Quick, I've been pinched by a crab. Someone throw me a 7 up. Oh. Oh no, no, no. Ah! Man, I. So at least when you when you kill enemies they stay dead. The thing with the flies is that they spawn um, erratically. So with the flies, there's a certain place where they will spawn, and when you cross into that zone, they'll spawn. And when you kill them, they don't spawn in that place again. But since they've since they've shown up, uh, I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. I'm trying not to fall down that pit right there. There, nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, so jump from over here. There we go. So, like right now, that, that bee that I just killed was set to spawn somewhere at this vicinity of the stage. So since I've killed him, he won't appear down here again if I have to go through the stage. That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> the only downside to 7-Up is that it attracts bees. Imagine saying that for any other product. Well, the only downside of, of, of X is that, you know, bees. You wouldn't buy that. If you bought something and bees kept showing up, why would you, why would you keep buying that product? That's not good. Man, these... These flies are taking me to the cleaners. Oh no. Okay, it's not... Yeah, I know I went the wrong way, game. Oh. So I'm gonna get hit by that crab no matter what. Ah! Okay, see, see if I can do this. So the shoots out two th shoots out two things. No, we're running. Ah, 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 no, get the <laughs> 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 How's that the I wasn't even gonna try. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Just I got the one up. It's all cool. Surf patrol. Let's get some cool points. You guys ready to get some stuff that's cool? Hey, guess what? Can you believe we're already 5% cool? So, the cool thing that I kind of like about this game, and not to use the term cool, you know, since we've been hearing it all, all, all day, but 
What I like about this game is that um, <laughs> this book says cheat codes. <laughs> But like, when you go back and you revisit a stage, there's there's something different about it. There's, I mean, of course it is a different layout, but they've added new enemies to it usually. So, it kind of adds to the replayability of the, the game and that it, it builds the challenge, I guess you could say. Oh, go up. We must increase the cool. How come I can't get? How come I can't refill my health from that? The uh, can of Seven Up right there. Where are you even? Oh no, I'm falling. Where even am I? Oh, there we go. I can't keep doing that. I think Surf Patrol was the last level in the game. I think. That might be time on Cool Spot. Yes! <laughs> cool Spot complete! And it's it's just a little bit, a few minutes after 2 o'clock, so... So we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna text. Uh, I'm gonna text my brother that we're starting up the super off road. So we have received. Uh, $3 from an anonymous donor, so that actually uh, brings us up to $100 even. Awesome. So we've got a $10 donation from FPS Reflex himself. Uh, he is, uh, he was actually, he's the, he's the brother of mine that was at Joe School's Children's Hospital, so he's, uh, he's checking out the stream. He's here.